I was going to say this <laughs> off the top of the show. So I had something happen to me this morning mm. that had to do with my contacts. So I'll say this. I've, I've worn contacts since I was six. I'm 31. So that's 25 years. In no YouTube video, no documentary, no clip, no story I've ever heard from anyone on earth have I heard of this happening. Never. Didn't know it could. So if you have good eyes, like I don't know if you guys all do or if you have contacts, I got, I got you, contacts you may then, think yeah. like, like I know Kyle has great eyes. So I have the contacts that you can sleep in like it doesn't hurt them to sleep in them. And so you might think that when I wake up in the morning, I see the way you do just like clear. But contacts, they take like five minutes, like three, five minutes to kind of get acclimated. It's a little fuzzy. And that's the way it is. And so I get up this morning and I begin my routine. I get out of bed. I go brush my teeth and I sit on the toilet to take a shit and I pull out my my phone. And I'm, I'm pulling up r slash hockey. I want to see if there's any trade news or anything. And I'm reading. And as my vision is clearing, I see a spider like here, like hanging from a thread, like in front of my face. And I go, Ooh, like a, just a teeny little spider, teeny little thing. But I see it and I, Ooh. and it goes away. And I look back at my phone and then I see that fucking spider up there again. And so then I go back to look, wondering how the spider could still be there. I hate and where I, I think go, this is going. I go yeah. to move my eye, and like a floater, this now clear spider body that is dead and crumpled, it is moving around my. It's oh, on oh, my. It's my. in my eye. I can and I now I'm shitting. I haven't wiped oh, it. I'm starting to freak God. out because now I'm focusing <laughs> and I go I, and I go, <gasps> and then I stop <laughs> and I and I wait for my vision to come back. And I look at my phone, and then right in the middle of the trade news, there's a dead spider curled up. <laughs> oh I can see, I can see its legs. God. I can see all the fucking detail of it. I'm Oof. scared because I didn't realize in the first couple seconds that it was dead, but it had that classic curled up thing. Yeah. And so I, I take out my contact. I, I've never done this in my life. I used my finger and like like a like a zamboni on my eye and just <laughs> rubbed and pushed and moved around, and it was a horrible morning to wake up with a spider <laughs> in my eye. It was in my eye. I've never heard of that. That's never no, happened. I've never no. heard of that either. What That's must terrifying. What happened? Like, Is that you think like, like spider... you were sleeping? You were sleeping, sleeping and it like, it nestled into your eye and you kind of like closed your eye really tight on it while sleeping or something. I, I, yeah. It was so little. It was a little baby spider. I bet that it was trying to get a drink from my eyes mm. and then it drowned <laughs> on my contact. Your eye, your your eye was a body a of water. Message. Yeah, what? this was, I, I'm like, I'm genuine. I'm not doing a bit. Well, I'm doing a bit, but like, I'm also very nervous to go to bed tonight. Like, oh, and, and like, goggles I, on. I immediately called an exterminator and was like, I want you guys to come out to my house as soon as possible because I can't deal with this shit. And so what happened? You're like, there's a baby spider. There's a baby spider <laughs> in my eye. It was like, you, you don't know how you react until like Dude. you see that. Th it could have been legs. way worse. It could have been no, way no. worse because you could have gotten pink eye in all this messing around with your eye while you're shitting. And like, well, see, I crap. hadn't wiped yet. I wouldn't have been going. Okay. Oh my wild god! If what I if you had, had poop in your hand? If you were, like, like, yeah. like, all, like, 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 you saw a spider pink eye all day <laughs> for <Yeah>. spiders. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll deal with pink eye for a week rather than spiders <laughs> in my oh, eye. Yeah. And I was that worried. Little... I'm like, what kind of spider is this? Like, did it Brown bite my eye? Is it's oh, little it enough that there's eye. no way it like? Is it laying eggs in there? Yeah, they do that. They do. That. I wouldn't. I I would. I, that spider in the eye sounds the worst. Yeah, I'd, was, I'd was, rather I'd rather you all memory. fuck me in the ass, me <laughs> included, than I get spiders in my eyes. Dude, unironically, no agree. homo. <laughs> no, make it as Obviously. gay as the day is long. <laughs> Just don't care. No more spiders in my eye. It was it was such a scary way to wake up, and it wasn't That's until like terrifying. after yeah. I got it out that it like really hit me in the morning, and I like got a bunch of heebie-jeebies and like yeah. almost like sounds dry like heat. you handled it all right though, because it really could have been. It could have been really bad. It could have been way like, worse. I would have yeah. like, yeah, like I would have been like punching my eye, <laughs> my eye out. I would have been freaking. I well, been I did. I thought it was under my contact at first. Oh. It scared the shit out of me. That'd and have then been once terrible, I realized yeah. it was likely because, like, you know, if like a little thing like that gets stuck mm. in your eye, just like a speck of dirt, your eye has ways to like flush that out through tears. But under your contact, or I'm, I'm sorry, on a contact, it's gonna stick. Mm -hmm. And so clearly that thing just stuck to the outside of my contact the same way like dirt and stuff will if you leave your contacts in too long. It was a fucking rough morning. I'm still I I don't want to go to bed tonight. You're not <laughs> saying actually spiders can cover your eyes. It's crazy because it's a very low impact story, but it's actually insane.
Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really not a big deal. Nothing bad happened. But to me, also, I'm also like, it's probably going to be the most fucked up thing that'll ever it's happen. It's so to bizarre yeah. that your eye was able to focus on it being that yeah. close. But it, it makes me wonder if, like, he had a little message for you and you killed him before he could deliver it. <laughs> he like, like, he was sending you a message from a tiny realm. <laughs> and, and look, I'll say this tomorrow, if you're mm-hmm. reading the hockey news on the toilet and you see a tiny spider in your vision, give him a minute before you crush him. See what, he's, see what he's got to say. He well, might I have a little poster board. My, I switched to my glasses immediately because I think this will be a better defense. Yeah. Like you know, you know that old story where oh. they tell you things like, you know, when you, throughout your adult life, eight spiders will crawl in your mouth, and then you Flush watch like a real up. explanation of that, and they're like, yeah, believe it or not, spiders don't actively crawl into warm predators' mouths. Like that's they they survived billions of years because they don't do that, mm. but they will drink out of your eye and die in there. <laughs> So be warned, everyone. <laughs> PSA. 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 I love that your eyeball was a body of water and like it was like excellent. Uh, uh, like yeah. a source of a it's source like of an oasis. And, and it gets there yeah. and it's all glass. There's just it was, glass over like he was he was bamboozled by your contact. I mean, I, I took when I took my contact out, I was searching all over it and I couldn't find the little fucker on there. So I I don't know. Maybe maybe he's on like the back. Maybe he's gonna be like controlling me soon, like ratatouille. <laughs> redirecting me around feeding myself sugar or whatever spiders like well everybody, that like, everybody sugar. Sugar. yeah everybody likes sugar, sugar and flies of course just before the show blame truth you started talking and kyle and i were like Tagada! that sounds perfect so you have a discord and it got banned can you fill us in on what led to that what happened <laughs> yeah my my discord account uh my server's okay but my account Got banned because I was a part of the Conway Whale Watchers Wings of Redemption <laughs> Troll Discord. I actually just streamed the Northmen with those guys. Those are cool guys. Like we streamed the Northmen <laughs> and had a good old time. We had a good old time. They are cool guys. They are right? cool guys. And uh, we had a great time. And then I hop on Discord and I'm just banned. Uh, they they nuked that server. I think Wings took it down. They nuked that server. Everybody in it just got fucking banned. Uh, straight Damn. up, no questions asked can't get it back so i'm i'm discordless right now but not a big deal you know yeah i think well, why though? going on right now i don't i don't know the short and long of it and i frankly don't care but uh he's got some <laughs> kind of drama going on so it's probably uh tangentially related to all that but yeah the whale watchers yeah um the why? named group I, of uh wings yeah, why, aficionados. Did, why did why would they get banned for uh for that discord what are you guys doing in there <laughs> surely See, not I, just laughing from what were far. you up to blame truth because <laughs> it sounds to me like a hell whole lot it's, more it's to do funny i i told my twitch stream i'm like hey guys i'm streaming the northman on conway well watchers you know just like doing it for fun and some people came in like one time they came in one time to watch the northman never said a fucking word got banned for life oh, on shit. discord uh that is it's bizarre it, yeah oh. um you'd think yeah. it would be all like if they had a whale watching discord where it like had the rules of the zoo where it was like we're here to discuss the laughable things but do not participate don't touch the animals this is the zoo but yeah. i bet they went over the line and they tried to create content by like poking a gorilla or throwing sandwiches at a bear which is obviously well, in, in poor taste well someone wings uses the word blackmail because he doesn't know what it means but but someone's trying to extort <laughs> some money someone's trying to extort some money out of wings oh, well that's <laughs> fucked up uh, i don't like that Jeez. yeah using the the take they, system they claimed like it was that. like uh a, a discord discord said it was like a server meant for harassment but oh, well, i mean i was i mean it, I sound, it sounds like it's a, a discord made for harassing someone so it's really so you know what i'm fine with it's that like-minded banned. individuals getting together for a good time <laughs> it's, it's it's i true. like i like that he gets that w though i feel like he needed that and the thought of him fucking coming in just clearing <laughs> out like a thousand <laughs> or however many people yeah. were in there <laughs> plus true. even plus just the uh uh the the extra people the collateral damage of people that were innocent mm-hmm. that got murked like they just got caught up <laughs> yeah, some of my viewers who had wrath. never even seen or said anything just got fucking vanquished them banned. from discord yeah. i wonder how we would feel if he knew that you had been swept up in all of this i think i i tweeted at him like come on dude like seriously like, <laughs> he's got bigger hell. fish to fry right he's now, like oh i'm yeah. sorry blame truth this group of two thousand people harassing me i don't care for it so yeah i'm gonna request that <laughs> oh. they remove people people need to give wings a fucking break every now and then the dude is run through the ringer 24 7 for the past 10 years like taylor a bit 
Well, you have to keep in mind, like he randomly attacks people, at, like like at random. For, he said I was addicted to Adderall like two months ago. I know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's maybe it's not accurate. You're like, you're, I know, but you're one of my close friends, so I saw that and was immediately like, obviously that's false. But like, yeah. Yeah, if he was going around being like Taylor, huge fan of black tar heroin, I'd be like, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm a high quality. I like that, like the the high the white stuff. How much Adderall? How much Adderall do you have to do for it to be considered an addiction? Well, I think hmm. that like, I I don't know. That's but, but I've <laughs> never taken more than, more than like a bottle. Probably, right? like, like like I would get a prescription. I would get it prescribed, and I would take it like when I needed to get the house clean or something like that. I wouldn't take yeah. it regularly, even not since yeah. middle school. But taking it regularly is that addicted to it? People, do I mean, get addicted to it like easily. It can be, but 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 I don't know. I don't think that's the kind of addiction he's talking about. He's trying to suggest that I was like tweaking out on Adderall. Yeah, or something. tweaking. Yeah, that you were like trumping. I made a Trump video. Is- I made a video about him actually, like Wings, and he watched it on his stream, and he watched it live. I actually caught him watching the video live, and every point I brought up, he just immediately dismissed. There was no. There's no like. There, nothing was taken in it was like in one ear out the other it was worse was it than a that. call it was- of duty like a video game critique video or like a hey you know this is i don't like what you're doing here uh it was just a a i told him to kind of just embrace the trolls because like at the end of the day they're i think they're fans that want to see him do better or x fans that want to see him do better you know what i mean like actually uh, maybe yeah some I, are I, I think some are i really do some and- are there because they think of themselves as like an avenging spirit there to like look after all those kids that got yelled at 10 years ago <laughs> well I, know, I, I think he is i do think he's sitting on a gold mine potentially actually of engagement and stuff like that's mm-hmm. a very big deal um i also i think like uh, a, another person who's like you know can spin their thing into profits but pushes against it as brendan schaub you guys know about oh yeah yeah, yeah. The yeah. yeah i frequented yeah. the subreddit for like like through pandemic and stuff and i just saw you know how he responds but like i saw all the slogans and and like schaubisms and things and if there's there's a way there's like a, a 90s wrestler wwf way to spin it into a bad guy type thing where you kind of root for it. I don't know what the answer is, but I do like find it interesting. Like in in Wings' case, he does do the exact same thing yeah, all the time, and he's never happy with it. And I feel like re-strategizing his approach to the engagement he gets out there uh, Mm. could be valuable. I I don't know anything about surprised by, like, like perennially, I am shocked that no one is interested in producing a reality show about his life. And, and like I don't think I'm crazy about you this. Tried. I think I I tried. I think that it's amazing. <laughs> like if you had cameras there and like at the end of every week, if he had to sit down with his family members in a circle, like the fucking circle of truth, and they each had a camera on them and talking about like what, what happened this week. Like, hey, this week Wings had some trouble with his fans. They they had a crane order to the house. How did that make <laughs> you feel? Well, I was trying to get my Louder than air. (laughs) 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 Yeah, we took advantage of that crane to get Mama out of the kitchen. (laughs) Yeah, see, it would be so funny. I promise you, because like just some of the stories, I would watch it. Like like having them recount the stories in person with like one of those silly, you know, those shows where they're talking about someone who got bit by a snake and they do it Mm -hmm. poorly. The reenactment, and it's almost comedic. Mm-hmm. A reenactment of him like getting that turd pulled out of his ass by his grandma <laughs> or something, like accompanying like story time. Like have him like, tell a story every now and then yeah. with a tinny like, meow in the background. <laughs> it's just that yeah. it's actually like a whole like it's like uh it's like mm-hmm. young Sheldon, but it's wings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like young, a full young show. Jordan. There's young an Jordan. actor playing him. Yeah. Everybody hates Jordy. That's everybody the story. Or because Everybody hates Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reality show. Yeah. I actually really like the idea. And I'm not talking about like torturing him in any way at all. Not uh-uh. at all. But he every episode he does something he hates. Like oh, fly hates. Oh, no, commercial flight. <laughs> Coach commercial flight. It mm. he would be if, if you told him that that at the end of the season he has to fly <laughs> to Los Angeles for an in studio like thing with his hero and ten thousand dollar check, he'd be like, I don't know, you know that. June was when I like to, you know, stay in my trailer all alone. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. He's so scared of you commercial really flights. You really think he wouldn't fly? Last so like time me, I don't know who his hero flight. is. But See, last he... time, 
Uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Um, the last the last <laughs> time he was on a commercial flight, they um the guy next to him was like rude, like like mm-hmm. it was a flight from Conway, South Carolina, or wherever he boarded his plane, Asheville probably or Spartanburg, wherever uh, <laughs> to L.A. So that's like five and a half, six and a half hours, somewhere in there. And yeah. somebody was like, "Bro, seriously!" <laughs> like somebody gave him. Some okay, shit. wait, they- wait. As someone who's not like who has different dimensions than Wings, sure, but is also that. a huge person, like Wings was rude. I think when so I get too. on the plane, being who I am, and I sit next to a regular person, I do feel rude. I'm like, yeah. If someone's like <laughs> seriously, I'm like, bro, I'd be so mad. If I got <laughs> to a seat and I was sitting next to me, I'd be like, fuck this fuck. Big fucking idiot. <laughs> you like, have, like eventually you should have to like sit next to Shaq. So yeah. you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, you know how all those tiny women feel. <laughs> I felt the same way, but but then you know, like like he was so upset by it that he was considering renting a car and driving back from LA. Oh God! Yeah. Really? He lives, in, he lives oh. on the East Coast. Why? Yeah. See, here's the thing. Not only is he living on the East wish... Coast, he lives 20 minutes from the, 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 the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> hey, but wait, I wish it I smell, wish. You can hear seabirds. You can <laughs> and, and the fly into LA. You go out over the Pacific and loop back too. So he would go ocean to ocean like Forrest fucking Gump. <laughs> okay, I I wish when that guy was like seriously, I wish like he knew, like I wish he embraced more like fuck this guy. Yeah, you know, or in my mm-hmm. case, like I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm shit. I'm, Sit yeah, down, those- forget about it. I wish wings, like I feel like that's that's it right there. Yeah. That guy's like seriously, yeah. and then he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suffer driving back now rather than have that. He should just be like, fuck that, bro. I'm sitting I don't right know what here. I'm gonna take up wings, two like, seats. Wings- Wings Taking as a up guy, a seat and a half. Like every time Wings, if, if my name is ever in Wings' mouth, it's like that motherfucker stole my job. Like <laughs> he's like mad at me. He's like that. Piece, like, he he got in and stole the money. And like even knowing that and the years of that, I just like I feel so fucking bad for the guy. <laughs> like he, I just, he I does can't look thing. at his life and not feel like dude. Like uh, I just did, did you guys did you guys hear about the New York Times thing? He did. Oh, we know all yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you seen the oh, for Harley's the, benefit? The New York Times did an article on Wings of Redemption, and like they have his picture in the article. He can't stop talking fake. about it before it happens, and then he know like he, you think he would know by now. Don't talk about this shit before it happens, but like he he's like a kid on Christmas, like telling people about his new bike he got, you know. <laughs> so he just can't he can't wait to spill the beans till after. So he's talking about how he's getting this New York Times interview, and then the trolls, of course, contact him, and the article changes. You know, because they contact him about the stuff he's, he said in the past. I just, yeah. I don't get, it's like the same mistake over and over and over. It's insanity. It's a definition of insanity. Um, so. Yeah, and it's just that I think uh, the trolls are entirely powered and fueled by him. Like, when we were talking about that reality show. Mm-hmm. If, if that happened and that reality show, like, wasn't a success on TV, I do know that the clips channels is like a seven figure business. Oh, yeah. If that reality show exists, the Wings Clips channels on YouTube taking like one, two, three minute bits from the show and re- recutting it, that's a seven <laughs> figure business right yeah. there. <laughs> and even if only one episode got released, one 35 minute episode or something, that's there for the next po- That's decade. content for yeah. four years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like four years. God, is it Good crazy for us too. to produce the show? Is it crazy to hire a film crew? It's and, the most no. logical, best, <laughs> coolest thing. Guys, it I'm four hours away. And the first I'm episode is just, from it, it's, 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 it's Taylor and Wings getting lunch. Getting oh, lunch that together. would be episode one. You guys yeah, yeah, are yeah. all on and the We're table. smoothing it over. Exactly. <laughs> you guys show your cards, yeah. fully transparent. You know? Oh, you 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 saw you you uh you buried. But the what I'm upset about all is you can that eat crab. Yeah, we we have a competition over all you can eat crab over who <laughs> is the deserved host of PKA. After I slaughter him in that, I, I feign some false humility. Let me ask you a but question. The what thing if, I'm the most if, upset about is that he's not really six four. What? He's not really six four. <laughs> That's what I'm upset. I'm gonna show up and like of all the things you could be like frustrated with, I'm gonna like go. I'm gonna like look for him like wings. <laughs> Wings, and then like when I'm taller than him, what? Are your feet okay? Like, <laughs> like what's going what if on? You, what if you ate crab for for who would be ho- ho- host of PKA, and you're like three pounds deep, and you're like, no big deal, I can keep going. But you mm. look at him, and he's not even breaking a sweat. 
He's not even breaking a sweat. And, and not only that, Taylor, they've got some of those cheesy red lobster biscuits, and he starts oh, eating those so for the fuck of it. Just yeah. like like he, he he knows he can beat you with extra room to spare. <laughs> he's like, I don't care. And he's like enjoying the biscuits, like like oh, chatting he, it up all lighthearted. He I would be so happy to see him do that because he's just blowing himself out. I'm I'm the tortoise. I'm eating until we start the competition Sunday. I'll wrap up, <laughs> I'll wrap up Tuesday afternoon. He's gonna burn himself out so quickly on those cheddar biscuits and i also guarantee that my dexterity my speed in opening the crab it's it's going to be unmatched oh, oh I can, i'm sorry give, give me give me eight clusters i'll be through that devoured it digesting for an hour while watching an episode of an idiot abroad and no, he's no, still no. out there struggling with bloody fingers see the problem with that taylor is wings redemption doesn't crack his crab open he eats it whole okay oh, oh shells all right uh, that's real how he's respect, so fast. real that's how he's <laughs> so fast okay well <laughs> he then he's gonna, the whole thing if he survives you know eternal bleeding, he's going to beat me. <laughs> you know what's so funny about this is you're like we're having this conversation. You're like, yeah, you guys go and pre. The funniest thing is like, no one here can afford wings. Even no. with everything going on in his no. life, you want to do this? Like, we can't afford this. Even if we all <laughs> pull together, we don't have the money to produce one it's season. Too stupid to just take the for money. His, just for yeah. his talent rate. He like, would, I, I, know I would it. have no confidence that we wouldn't get 40 minutes in, like me, Kyle, and Woody get off a plane, and then he'd be like, you know what? I don't want to do this. And then he'd be like, yeah, this is going to be embarrassing. Uh, but I, we're here. Nah, he yeah, say, he's I don't want to make a fool of myself. And it's like, that's what you've been doing for a decade. <laughs> that's that's what he's contracted <laughs> into, though. Now. Mm -hmm. That's what he's contracted into. So when he's like, I don't want to do it, you guys are like, great, this is the show. How yeah, about this? Like, we make him. We make him we make him sign an NDA, legally binding harsh punishments. After he's signed it, he realizes he's signed a non-dairy agreement. He can't have dairy <laughs> until he's down to a BMI of 24. Not my cheese. And, that, and that's the show. Is he's and legally he's bound to not be, and there's a cop that follow a dairy cop, and he keeps him Billy from Club? consuming any dairy. Billy Club. Uh, Shalila. He's head on. Yeah, it's gonna be it's oh. gonna be fun. A Can I just be the cop since I have the mustache? Like oh, I'll wear this guy. Yeah. yeah. Impersonating a cop? That's not a crime if you're filming. Nah, not South Carolina. No. If you're filming, it's acting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just acting like I pulled <laughs> this guy over. What are you mad about? <laughs> no, I, I, I've i long thought that he could literally... Because, you know, some of that reality stuff that actually gets popular is just so trash and so bad. And his stories are real. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit yeah. is real over there. That The crazy stuff with people... Pulling turds out of buttholes and, and you're, fucking you're doing drugs. You're not going to believe this, but the problem, Wings is not fat enough. My the my six hundred pound life and the those sisters who are behemoths in their own right. Yeah, like wings they, can do they jumping make jacks wings ish. Little. You he's know, quite, he kind he's of quite athletic. athletic. He's quite yeah, athletic like he, to be super He's athletic. like a running, yeah. jumping large man. Like he could do that kind of. You he's know, he's a bit like Chris yeah. Farley. Yeah. He's gonna break. Like he's gonna break something in the house, maybe. But uh, listen, mm -hmm. why don't you, like yo call him up right now? We don't have his number. You don't have his phone number. Uh uh. I have Never no way did. of contacting. You're lying. <laughs> I swear you have, to no, God. You can't I, contact Wings Kitty right has now it. if you wanted. Kitty has. If I needed to get in touch with Wings, I'd be like, Kitty, give me Wings' number and I could contact No, Zach, him. you don't have to. <laughs> no, we not want his Woody, information. When he comes back, he's like, yo, I was gone for one episode and Wings was on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was great. Wings taking Woody's job Ooh. is the full circle. <laughs> that's the full circle. That's when it's complete. Mm. <laughs> That's oh, the no. that's the final plot point the the full <laughs> the full circle documentary yeah is that he goes is that uh Woody decides that he's got enough money and he's gonna be a fly boy in Spain and and Wings <laughs> jumps in it takes the reins <laughs> uh, and then like uh, immediately the next week <laughs> me and you would be sitting here like it's seven Eastern and then we'd get a message <laughs> like don't feel good. <laughs> not gonna make it tonight an hour and a half late it's begins like, the same thing. they don't have that yeah. they don't have that racism cash the way you speaking did. of uh speaking of retarded uh when i went <laughs> yeah. to go see Another lord Kyle's of the going. rings <laughs> <laughs> when i went to go see lord of the rings it was in theaters and i was so excited to see it i think i was like ninth grade eighth grade maybe mm -hmm. eighth grade it came out in 98 like 99 i think yeah okay 98 99 um so that's, that's eighth grade um and i uh was with my aunt and like she's kind of like a hippie and like i was just like oh i want to get high to go see it and she like gave me like a little joint because she knew i was gonna be alone for the day she had shit to do mm -hmm. my cousin was doing shit so i got really high and i went to the theater and it was like a matinee and like the movie had been out for a while now and like no one had wanted to see it so we were finally going i was going to see it alone 
and I like I'm walking down the aisle and no one's in the theater and I go and I like sit down like fifth row and like in the middle like it's like the perfect seat Mm -hmm. and I like look to my right and I see this like like big mentally challenged person which he probably looked at me and thought the same thing yeah (laughs) <laughs> but you give was, off that aura. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was definitely emanating it now because I was stoned. So I was like, <laughs> Yeah, like cross eyed. Yeah, and I like looking at him and I look and uh he comes in and he's like like on the level, like this level, like his hat is like <laughs> Yeah. Like the hat's like barely on. Yeah. Someone mm-hmm. put it on him. <laughs> yeah. Someone put it on him. He didn't put it on even. And like uh, he was just like, just like, like, like jogging pants that are, you know, are his favorite pants, like <laughs> fluorescent fanny pack that he'll scream if you touch it. Um, and he's like, <laughs> like coming down, he's coming down the aisle here and like barreling I, down the aisle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and me too. He looked like, like me, how I did when I was stoned. And I was like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. and like, he's coming down and I'm looking at him. And all I'm thinking is, like, it could have been anyone. I would have been like, don't come here, don't come here, don't come yeah. here, don't come here. And he, uh, like, comes to the aisle, and he, like, he hasn't seen me yet. And he, like, turns in the aisle and takes a step. But I, like, focused all the power I had into, like, scaring him away. <laughs> like, he What'd turned in, like, my bloodshot stoned eyes. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and he like he was like duh, 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 and he saw me he was like uh and he like stepped back <laughs> and went back a row and just sat there and I know this guy I know his type because I am like that too to an extent I was in the optimal seating mm-hmm. and he wanted that and if I didn't look at him like that he would have sat next to me because that's the second best Best. (laughs) and he would have done that not thinking even though we were in a theater by ourselves which one time i did sit in the optimal seating and a mentally challenged person did sit right next to me but Mm -hmm. it was a full theater so like we had no choice we're right next to each other and the craziest thing that happened also once again i'm super high but this happened like three years ago this was like fast and the furious 15 or whatever (laughs) pretty recent (laughs) and i'm like sitting in the theater and i'm looking at the screen and like something very funny happens that I thought was very funny. It was a very subtle, nuanced joke that just happened to, to that I found very funny, but not really anyone else in the theater thought it was funny. But it happened, and this mentally challenged guy sitting next to me, the stranger, and it happened, and I was like, <laughs> and he was next to me, and I guess he thought it was funny too, and happy that I enjoyed it. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me, and I was. Like, I was like, oh, no. oh. I was like, Swear. like, that wasn't a laugh I shared with you. But like, it was like to him, I was like, ah. and he was like, ah. like, like pat oh, you on the fuck. back. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's honestly, that is so sweet. Like, it was. He's, trying, it was. he's trying to share a social laugh with someone who enjoys something that he does. That's sweet. And I you like know what? That. Like, I, I was, a, I was like professionally an integration aide for many years. Right? I worked with mentally challenged mm-hmm. kids and like, you know, I volunteered that for years like you know i was probably like they're my people that's me out there every (laughs) single one of them and like so i'd go i'd like volunteer like so like if i was prepared i would be embracing it scared the shit out of me he was like in my space like he was like (laughs) and i was like i was actually like (laughs) also i had to tell you like i was high like super high it's like i was like already like in a place but fucking but oh another I'm so Narrowly sorry. Escape. I'm so sorry to hit you guys with like a retard hat trick of a story here. Just keep going. Oh, I've got a retard story so, after yours. Okay. Three hours. <laughs> my, buddy oh, yeah. Amir, yeah. my buddy Amir, God bless him. Uh, chef of Epic Meal Time. He's a genius guy. You know, like uh, like he's just very like smart sometimes, but he's also like if if you ever watched the videos and you know you like you'd met him, Kyle, mm-hmm. he's like fucking just crazy retarded person like he's just fucking crazy like he's so insane people would meet him and be like what's wrong with this guy and i'm like he's retarded me too yeah he's just like he's there's a look in his eyes and there's a thing about him was he there for the star wars thing right yes yeah yeah 
maybe he was just you saw him where he had like a set thing of tasks to perform and he loves tasks and a maintained schedule that's exactly it had we shifted something he would have been like ah! no, i'm kidding i'm kidding not like that but <laughs> like he is like he is just that type and i remember one time he got us tickets like he's like type like he he got us tickets to a movie in advance got us our seats he got us he's waiting there like three hours like it's the airport he's chilling there and then we come all of his buddies and there's a guy there that he always tries to race to beat because that guy who's fully retarded mm -hmm. um has uh wants to get the optimal seating but amir <laughs> wants the optimal seating and Wait, like they know the each other well, they're they're at every big premiere, like, like the same movie. social worker. Like Amir mm. will be like my fucking nemesis got optimal seating at Top Gun. He was there before <laughs> me. I can't believe it. If there was one movie I wanted optimal seating, it was Top Gun. And then it'd be like Jurassic World. I fucking had his ass, and he came with a friend too. Fuck them both. But like they do, <laughs> they have an ongoing beef. It's a where, rivalry. Like, yeah, yeah in my head, I think they're low key best friends. He just doesn't know it. Um, mm. But so this this guy who's retarded who knows amir is retarded too because he sees mm -hmm. him doing the retard movie thing where he's got to get the seat and he's got to <laughs> be there for that optimal seating like uh, if he's yeah so this retard's been watching amir and he sees him and he knows this is like my retarded brother you know mm -hmm. <clears throat> then he sees like me and all my buddies come in and now that other retard's confused because he's like what because we're seeing amir we're dapping him up and this guy's like huh how did you a fellow retarded brother managed to <laughs> round up a squad of fucking normies like that, you know? <laughs> so I'm standing with the mirror and I was like, oh, I was like, Amir, I'm like, I retarded over there. I was really checking you out. He's like, <laughs> He's like which? And I'm like, don't. You know who <laughs> Reed you know, recognized The one you Reed. have a rivalry with. Yeah, yeah. Reed recognized Reed. The one that's looking at you right now that knows you're retarded. And, you know? And Amir's like, huh, I didn't even see. And now I'm watching Amir. From like like a distance here, I get my popcorn. I stand back and I'm watching Amir, and I see now that I'm away and Amir's alone. This this guy's like, oh, I'm gonna roll up on a, this dude and I'm gonna ask him like, what are the secrets, you know? And so this like retarded guy starts to approach Amir. He's also a retarded guy, and now Amir like he's been doing the long con. He mm -hmm. thinks he has us convinced that we don't think he's retarded when we know he is. And mm -hmm. so like Amir doesn't want to fuck that up, I guess, or whatever it is. But this retarded guy like walks up to Amir like, yeah, and Amir he didn't actually do this what i'm about to demonstrate it was something different but this encapsulates it perfectly amir as he came close amir was kind of like <laughs> <laughs> and that guy was like oh shit and like backed away like it was like don't fuck this up for me and i saw the guy wanted to know like yo how do you hold a conversation with these guys? Like, you know, I don't, don't they know you're like you keep it a secret? Are you upfront about it or what? You know? Yeah. Yeah. He's in the closet. He's in the play chest. He'd yeah, well, this, and that's that's the same guy that laughed with me, by the way. Oh, that's nice. the same guy that sat next to me because well, I had no, optimal seating. No, no, I had optimal seating with Amir, so he ended up next to me because that's the second most optimal seat. It just he happens to All be right, part so, of both of so these when stories. You say Is there one theater in Canada? <laughs> it's, well, <laughs> How are you guys? I will tell you something. Show time for every movie. If Once you're this month, type of happening. person, if you're this type of person. You want the best. You want and the best in, seat in the Montreal. Best there happens yeah. to be an IMAX theater that is one of the newest IMAX theaters mm -hmm. in all of Canada. So, like, yeah, I'm pretty normal, bro. I'll go see the fucking movie here. That's it. Uh, Amir will drive like an extra thirty five minutes <laughs> to get the oh. IMAX experience because like the screen is twenty percent bigger, and like that's okay. You know, I'm okay with that. Once you're in a theater and you're watching a movie on a theater, I've never thought like, "Ugh, this is a small screen." I have like, really I have. in a movie. I, I, I have been to some been theaters. Like, bullshit, bullshit. This is the fake I have IMAX. Gone to bad I should have googled you, cocksuckers. You took me like, a, like, a, like a well, like, like a well-known like AMC. You get ushered into some bullshit with like a glass boob tube. Like what? I I I don't know. I've gotten taken to some like shady, like like shitty, like smaller screens, and and I thought like. There are private screens bigger than this. This is nonsense. Um, I love yeah. the idea of walking into a movie theater with you, taking a step into it, and right away you look at the screen and you go, bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that it would happens. already make my movie experience better. Dude, I'm serious about the movies. I haven't been in years. Like, like, I haven't been in years. The pandemic been since COVID, fucking yeah. thing like, drove me away from them. The last movie I went to was right before I went to prison. I was like, 
well, they might kill me in there. Better see Avengers. <laughs> 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 this is the end game after all. So, uh, I, you know, I watched that, went to prison, and then I haven't been back. I keep saying I will, but then I end up I keep saying I will, too. But Pop Gun is during the COVID. best movie to go back to the movie theater. I, I want to see that in, in the theater. It's a really yeah. good one. And also a really good one for IMAX because of the sound. My buddy worked at a GameStop in Oklahoma, and he was like, and he tells us all the time, he's like, you have no idea how many people came in when San Andreas came out and were literally like, so I could only play as a black man. Is there a code to be a white man? <laughs> what? So no matter what, you're going to be black. And they're like, oh. And he's like, people literally, he's like, people would come back the day after buying it and being like, so I'm a black guy? <laughs> and he was like it was he was like it was a much more common than you'd think in oklahoma like pulling um, up in this particular game stop i, I wasn't weird. gonna say it but you don't know. you play most of it first person yeah no, no, but the old ones you didn't and oh. there's voice lines and interactions with your family and friends so they're all black as as it's funny nah they're all black too so it's it's that black humor you know oh well my goodness no at that point you in my understand life now and, and at that point in my life and where i was at i feel like i related to to that culture game and more than anything because like growing up in this like this like jewish suburb you'd be surprised how many fucking studio gangsters live around here? There are so many people that strive to be a rapper, mm -hmm. like to strive to be a rapper. And they're like, they're like, you know, like, like w w white Jew, you know, like Sean Shelsky. And he's like, nah, it's Mr. Shells now. Something like that. <laughs> like, this is the people. So that's who I was around. So when I'm playing a game and everything is like, you know, like, 90s like california hip-hop culture i'm like i'm all versed in this bro. Yeah. <laughs> i'm all about this yeah i grew up in a strongly jewish neighborhood i know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm connected with the culture <laughs> it's crazy you, it was actually you'd see like there were like the people that like i grew up and around it's so funny it was not their life but they wanted that to be their life I mean, so did I. Like, I'd go to like school, like the, the music I'd listen to, I'm like blasting rap all the time. There was like a five year period where I literally listened to rap only. Then I fell off for an extended period of time because like I hated it for a while. Um, but it was uh, around that time when the game came out, I was like, this is sick. But I also didn't think it was going to be as good as Vice City until they, the commercial came out. That was the Welcome to the Jungle commercial. Guns and Roses. And yeah. yeah, it was such a hype ass trailer for the it game. Was good, yeah. Because he has the good. rocket launcher and he has the gang members with him. And, and his body type there. changes. Like exactly like yeah. being fat or jacked. And I love San Andreas, but there's just Vice City oh. was the fucking one. My brother had actually just texted me like an hour ago and said, uh, today's the 35th anniversary of the release of Appetite for Destruction from Guns N' Roses. I was in a forensic science class in, in high school. We went on a field trip to the morgue. Ooh. So, yeah, pretty cool, right? It actually and, sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, we, we get there. Uh, I think I was a junior, so 16 or so. Mm -hmm. Most of the class was around that age, 15, 16. We go to this morgue, and um, this... I feel like anybody that works at the morgue is just fucking weird. I don't know. Like this <laughs> of course dude, they are. this dude kind of like hunches out, you know, like a, of course. like a fucking, it's always sunny side character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking like hunches out and he's just like, you guys want to see it? You, you came here to see a dead body, didn't you? And we're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. No. What the fuck? What the fuck? It. Did he yeah. have like jokes where he's like, anyone want to see a dead body? And then everybody <laughs> goes, yeah. And he goes, any volunteers? <laughs> and then he like, was that. not I, that. I would be ghoulish if I were a mortician. He was yeah. not that self aware. No, he didn't but, have um, like a, he didn't have like a tight like a tight five like <laughs> like, like he gives like a stick. He's like here to poke with. He's like nah, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. no, like, it, oh, we've been here for two minutes and he's humping we, his stool. Like we thought, <laughs> we thought we thought this was a joke. Like we thought this was a joke because okay, so he's like, you want to see a dead body? And we're like, yeah, sure, woo. And he he goes and gets one and rolls yeah. it out and he's just like, this one came in like literally just this morning, a oh, couple hours ago. 
And he unzips it and he's just like suicide victim, like shot himself in the head, a uh, double barrel shotgun under the under the chin. Oh, wow. See, and I was going to say, sorry to interrupt. No, go ahead. But I love doing that when I'm on this show. Uh, <laughs> I was actually going to say the, the, the level of enjoyment at the field trip really depends on the body you get, uh, like who, what's in that day. Like yeah. what the inventory <laughs> of the morgue is that day. But that was like the be worst. Drastically yeah. different. Like this is like an old woman that died, or it's uh, someone blasted themselves in the what head. What would be the worst? Uh, well, oh, I, I was going to uh, say the this one is that Tommy's grandma. To Tommy, come up here. It's great. Grand. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he finds out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you could. He he tilted. We thought it was a joke because. I mean that's pretty dark, you know. We're like yeah, 16, yeah. 15, 16, mm -hmm. and he tilts he tilts the uh, the stretcher or whatever it is, so to where you could see oh, up wow. through because it's a clean fucking you know Ooh. like hole. What's the head look like? Like a bloom bloom flower or what? Um, I think they cleaned up the head. I want to say I can't remember exactly, but I you could see th up through it, and I'm like, this is fucking fake, you know, like whatever. And he's just oh. like, you guys want to see rigor mortis? And we're like, sure, okay. <laughs> and um, he starts, like, just messing with the joint, like, bending the legs and the arms of this dude. And he's just like, see, it's stiff, but it's not too stiff because he's fresh. And he's, like, just <laughs> doing all this shit. Yeah. And we're just sitting there, like, snickering because we think it's a joke. We think it's, like, a fake dead body because this is. Oh, this sounds really <laughs> actually traumatizing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and... <laughs> and I swear to God, it's... I'm not making any of this up. We get back on the bus. And we're all just like, hey, hey teacher, well, I can't remember the teacher's name, you know, I was 16, and I was like, we're like, hey, teacher, that, that was bullshit, right? You know, and she's like, class, that was not supposed to happen. I, like, I apologize. <laughs> that was real, and I don't, I didn't intend for that to get that dark. He doesn't even um, work there. That, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that was Otis, the groundskeeper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's really crazy. Have you yeah. healed? What's that? Have you healed? Oh, yeah. I, at the you time, I'm just like. That? I'm just like, man, all these horror movies I watched when I was like nine prepared me, you know, real yeah, things. Prepared me for this silly let's, joke. Yo, let's call yeah. that guy up right now. I get wish... him. Get him on the phone. Let's. He's I probably dead by now. Yes. Living the dream. Guy, I hope so. Yeah. I'll be at all Someone's doing that to his body right now. Probably. That's like bending ridiculous. his legs. He's pretty old. Yeah. That's pretty disrespectful. If I die and I'm at the morgue, I don't. You know, I don't want to be signed up to like do the hokey pokey by, by some <laughs> lunatic in front of a hey bunch kids, of children. Watch this, just yeah. And you're around. <laughs> he's like, he's just like doing that to you. When oh I'd, my god! If I'm gonna be dead, taxidermied, if I'm dead, there's no doubt in my mind that like my 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 shriveled dead dick would look so small <laughs> compared to the rest of my body. <laughs> like I'm so big and like flattened out and my dick is like shriveled and dead. Like, you know when you puke and your dick like shrinks more? <laughs> it's like you have little puke dick on your dead body and it's like just as big as I am. It's so much smaller. I want you to put that body. in your I want to, I want you to put that in your will. Like make sure my dick looks nice and I'm just saying like listen, I'm dead. <laughs> bend my legs, have the fucking hunchback come in and show my 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 body to the children or whatever. Just don't show anyone my dick. Yeah. Or at least anyone my shriveled, yeah. miserable dead dick. Put a big Dude, if I donate it. my body, they're just gonna show my GI tract as like a word of warning. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Too many cheeses will do this to you. Cheese, yeah. salt, and meat. <laughs> when and you live to the ripe age of thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that's wild. So, did the bodies? I thought that rigor mortis was like. I guess it must be gradual. It wouldn't it's a, snap It's a gradual like a, thing. Yeah. So did he so would, he moved them and then it just stayed there and you guys was all kinda watched. Like, in it was kind of like moving a um, uh, that like you're you're moving like a catapult or something. Like he was or a slingshot. Like mm. there's tension the more you yeah. move it. So he's like the more he moves it, the more tension there is. Mm. And he's having to like put his whole body weight into it. Yeah. That's so weird that he it's did so that. Come on, class, <laughs> hold him down. We're gonna shoot some basketballs with his leg. <laughs> what, what the fuck was your teacher doing? Like getting laid in the back room while this she is was just kind of just I remember looking at her in the corner and she's just like doing this. Like she didn't she wasn't prepared for that. We were gonna yeah. go see a dead body. And he was just like, You wanna see the fresh fucking headshot wound suicide victim? It wasn't just the headshot wound, it was like the most <laughs> violent headshot wound <laughs> you could muster. Like yeah, it's double terrible. barrel shotgun through a the shotgun. fucking shin. Yeah, up. And through that's the why and that's why head. parents 
have to show their kids dead bodies, not school teachers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> dude, so true. <laughs> dude, when you're right, you're right. It's got to be traditional. So I got to have my coolest? dad take me out to the train track. <laughs> <laughs> was that the East St. Louis trip you ever went on? That was probably the coolest. But we went to uh, the Biltmore Estates, oh, yeah, um, Biltmore House. What is yeah, that? And uh, we, when was that? Where was that? What'd you say, Taylor? Where, when was that or where was that? Where was it? I don't know. Where, where, was where it? and um, when? I don't know what the fuck that is. Where, I'm not in- where the fuck? Is, it's not too far away from me. It's somewhere in NC, um, in the middle of NC, I think. But what was know. fun about it? Like, yeah, what, is what was fun? Was like a- what was fun is it's it's claimed to be haunted, and we saw, like, it could have been fake. Somebody playing a joke. But what kind of bullshit school did you go to? They're taking you to haunted houses and looking yeah. at yeah. Like this guy went to Monster yeah. High. It's like a historical yeah. man. <laughs> it's an historical thing, yeah. Oh. Um, and uh, we saw the whole class. We were like, I think we were in elementary school at the time. Yeah, we we mm-hmm. saw um, like a girl in like an old style Victorian dress in the window, and she looked hollow. And then we all ran back to the bus screaming in terror. All right, that's neat. Yeah, it was pretty fun. cool. That's fun so, for the teachers. The coolest yeah. field trip we ever went on, I had this class called Life Connections in the ninth grade that it was required. And yeah. that's really vague, I know. But yeah, it sounds like a... I don't know blessing. what the true... We were kids, so it's hard t- for us to tell what the true purpose of the class is. Sometimes you can't tell what the real lesson today is. Like maybe... Right. Mm-hmm. I think they might have been wait- weeding out the crazies or something because there was a <laughs> lot of like expressing yourself and getting in front of everyone and talking. And mm-hmm. there was no structure. It was just a cl- kind of a fun class. But there was a lot of projects that involved le- like higher thinking and building and making projects. But the teachers were cool as fuck. And, <clears> and they were like, where would you guys like to go on a field trip? We get to take you anywhere. And we were like, Six Flags? And they're like, yeah, we could learn about physics there, huh, kids? And we're like, yeah, probably. Or we could just <laughs> whatever. All, or we could all split up and smoke cigs on the fucking uh, rail car. I don't know. Maybe that, too. And so that's what we did. We just went to, to Six Flags and hung out and, like, rode rides all day. That was the coolest field trip ever. That sounds you went awesome. To, you man. went to Sig's Flags. Sig's Flags. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey. And then the worst oh, yeah. field trip ever was um, when the morgue. When I went, <laughs> my uh, I, I took a I was taking all these bullshit electives because I, I wanted the ones that you could actually sleep through. And so I took horticulture yeah. and horticulture is like growing and arranging flowers and arrangements. Yeah. So we went to like greenhouses and stuff like that. And that's not so bad. You're like walking around like in like a field of flowers sometimes like this is this beats being in the classroom yeah, that's nice. but one day nice. we went to a fucking sod farm and we spent the whole day at a sod farm if you don't know what sod is it's whole grass day. it's one it's thing grass we were in a field of grass all day talking about how well this is where they grow the grass and that machine <laughs> is how they harvest the grass and mr johnson he sells the grass and i'm like we're done right nope. <laughs> you're like outside nope, we're here all day <laughs> it was awful now this field is one of Two varieties, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, not, they're I, the same. Black, it's just different lengths. I imagine it's it was hot as shit because it's Georgia, right? Yeah, so, yeah. It's always hot. Like out in a field under the sun, just baking. Yeah, that fuck me up. Did, did mm-hmm. Although that anything? that the field trip to the aquarium with the special ed class where that girl shit herself that that was a fun field trip. That's hey. not even a bad field trip. That's well, the that, type of yeah. thing I would call up a friend and be like, "I can't believe you were sick today, bro." Shelly, you know Shelly, she shot herself. In front Her of name everyone. was Michelle, I think. Michelle, so close. Shelly, I had a was feeling. It? No, so, my, yeah, my mom taught Reet special ed. Recognize Reet. My mom taught special ed, and she was like, "Kyle, do you want to tag along with my group of special ed students to go to the aquarium today?" And third third grade me was had no like social awareness, yeah, and I was like, "The aquarium, also. you say? Yeah, yeah, let's go!" <laughs> and so I just tagged along with all the retarded kids. That's awesome. I, 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 you know, you have no. Sorry to interrupt. No, go ahead. My favorite thing. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> There's no part of you at all, at all, that looks back and you're like, "Was I retarded too?" <laughs> yeah. Was it? Did they take me there I, because I was supposed to be on the retarded field trip, and that was how they broke yeah, it to me? Har- Har- I was, was a retard. I was <laughs> retarded. I did in the first grade when everyone was like learning, uh, like how to write out all the letters of the alphabet miss mm-hmm. monroe would come and she took me newton and douglas 
And Newton was like five years older than us for sure in first grade. <laughs> Douglas was like, even though I didn't have the word for it, I was like, this kid's retarded. Like, yeah. I don't know how, what I said then, but you I manifested knew. that word like it's I goofy. Knew. Yeah. 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 It's um, retarded. And sometimes, like, I did things and I was like, I'm retarded. Um, <laughs> but I had the, the Miss Monroe would come and I'd be like, peace, bitches, to like everyone that my buddies over there, because they're going to be writing the words. And I would go with Douglas and Newton. We would like roll clay balls. And she'd be like, smooth out the cracks. And I'd smooth it out. <laughs> And I was just like, you guys are stupid. Like, my life is so much better than yours. And then <laughs> at the end of the first grade, I remember the teacher being like, and this was really fucked up. This is like 1992, but it's just fucked up. And I remember it so clearly. She goes, everyone passed except for Douglas and Newton. And I was like, oh, my God. I thought that I would have had to repeat grade one because I was everywhere with Douglas and Newton. <laughs> Douglas and Newton did something. I was there with them. They're rolling clay balls. The I'm there with them. An adult is wiping their ass for them. I'm there with them. <laughs> You're holding the roll. Like yeah. every yeah. step of the way. And so I thought, I, and when like, as I got older, I mean, like, you know, I look back and I was like, I guess I was kind of retarded at the beginning. You were borderline. The they didn't yeah. Know they didn't know which path you were going to exactly. take. Exactly. Maybe they were doing like they were running the litmus test on you, the aquarium retard litmus test. Yeah. They're like, ah, yeah. bring him too. Did it, it, he wild. shit himself? No. Clean drawers. <laughs> All right. Fourth grade it is. The rest of you. <laughs> Go to the it, closet. I, it, it is wild how similar. I got, I've mentioned on the show before, so I'll be quick. But no, I, we're in, all in retards. I was yeah. all. No, I was also, not all of us. I was also in retard reading in kindergarten. <laughs> A retard so, reading. Yeah, it was. It was me. It's, it's it was nice me and it. Uh, it was me, Joe, and Travis. And Miss Huffman would say, "It's time for reading." Taylor, Joe, and Travis go to the you know Miss whoever, <laughs> and then we would go over there. And exactly the same. The reason I got in trouble is because I. I figured out I memorized like Susie's red bike instead of learning what letters did. And then she gave me a different book one day and I started reciting Susie's red bike and she busted me. And I remember <laughs> thinking like, even in my head at five, like you're going to have to learn this eventually. <laughs> like you can't, you can't fake it till you make it your whole life. And so I got taken over there and we didn't have clay balls, but it would be the easiest <laughs> shit ever. It'd be like, like Joe, what's wrong with this sentence? And it'd be like dog, no eat, no eat, <laughs> and then, then he'd be like, "It should say dog not hungry," and then he'd be like, "No, close, like Taylor," and he'd be like, "The, uh, uh, uh the dog is not hungry right now." And then they'd be like, that's perfectly structured. Here's a Tootsie Roll. And I'm like, dude, I'm banging on all cylinders here. Because next to, <laughs> next to Travis and Joe, I was fucking Steph Curry. Swish, <laughs> swish, swish. Didn't miss. Constant aces. High fives from the teacher. I'm breaking the curve in the retard reading course. And then I got pulled out of it, and they put me back in the regular, regular class before the end of kindergarten. That's so funny that we were all retarded. Were. Oh, dude. My, <laughs> my story is, is a little bit different. Uh, I was in high school and I met my best friend this way. Um, shout out Samantha if you're watching, listening, whatever. But she uh, just kind of saw me in the halls uh, in high school and she's like, oh, that, that, that kid's kind of cute. I, I think I'm going to try to talk to him. But then after like a couple days of seeing me in the hall, she said that she thought I was retarded. So she didn't talk to me. And I <laughs> said, like, doing? why? Well, glad you asked. Um, me and my friends, we were just, I don't even know how to describe it, just terrible people. So we would go into, for example, like the, the, the restroom and we just start screeching like pterodactyls. We would just walk around making awful noises like, like I, I literally, I, hate I, have, I have an extremely <laughs> loud scream. It sounds like, I could sound like literally like a, like a horror movie, like a woman screaming at the top of her lungs. Oh, like and I used thing. to walk into the school bathroom we all scream as loud as I could. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. And then I'd walk out normally. I'd walk out normally like nothing happened. And I didn't we, even that's what up. I would do. And yes. I'd walk and do my thing. Yes. While everyone's like looking at the door like what the fuck happened in there. Me and my buddy um, Brandon would walk in. We would we would sometimes get in a, a stall with somebody in the middle taking a shit and just start pterodactyl screaming on both sides <laughs> while this person's taking a shit. Uh, we would walk out and then we'd start making other noises and she's just like that kid's retarded and then like after a couple weeks 
um, she somebody had asked about me or she asked about me and they're just like, no, he's not retarded. He's in like advanced English. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he's just <laughs> autistic or something. I don't know. Yeah, he's the only guy in the world who writes and shit on the wall, but uses semi <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, He was he was writing. He was reciting Shakespeare. In wow, there with a turd in two hand. independent just, clauses. Listen, I, <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot and it's totally not a big deal. It's like not even important, but you look like you still have that pterodactyl screech. I still want to do it in public i mean you're more than would you welcome. would you bang one out for us where so many um, will hear you here it is i mean now. no pressure you don't even have to i'd like to see know. personally who has the better screech okay here we go. people are oh, gonna I hate this screen <laughs> people are gonna crash to this i disagree people are the out there like are they gonna do it they're are turning they their volume it? up right Dude, now people love like, I mean, that when people randomly scream well it won't be random i'm calling for it all right here we go <laughs> you know, it would, it would be. In fairness, Sorry. it would be better with the resonating factor of the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I can see what you're going for. But the same way, singing in the shower, you get that bathroom scream. You're gonna get some exactly. resonation. I, exactly. I bet it's pretty respectable in there. Uh, imagine that with. That was like people, a velociraptor yeah. nutting. A little bit. Yeah, I'll go with that. Something like we used to do, and it was literally to one guy, and it was my buddy Alex. I, I saw him just last weekend. He's a, still a close friend of mine. But he, one time in the locker room, like after gym or something, someone was taking a shit in the public bathroom, in the, the bathroom, and he like wetted paper towels, formed him into a ball. And he's a very tall guy, and so he would just reach over the top and just he was pelting this guy with big wads <laughs> of wet paper towels while he was trying to take a shit, and and then we were all showering, and the guy comes out with like like bits of wet paper stuck no. his up to him, and he's like, "Dude, stop fucking throwing shit at me!" And we like we're all laughing about it, but then we all decided like you know no one's ever done. Let's just agree we all only do this to Alex. And so, like, regularly, it'd be, like, in the lunch period, and he'd be like, I gotta go take a shit. And so, like, he'd get up, and then, like, I'd be like, I'll take it. And then I would get up, go to the bathroom, and just, like, firing these things at him while he was taking his shit. Sometimes go and see. Sometimes you have someone coming from the top, someone underneath throwing little, little grenades at him, trying to get up through into the area between his legs to hear a thunk into the toilet. Oh, never yeah. never got the, 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 the three-pointer It's like skee-ball. It's like skee-ball <laughs> with shitting almost. That was yeah, so you're stupid. Trying to, that's like yeah, the 100-point yeah, we, we thing. Retarded. Yeah. We were all retarded. It's fun. Look at the yeah, line I mean, of work though, we're like, like, Smart people uh, don't do this. Do, do you think that he, like, <laughs> did he enjoy that joke, or do you think he was at home at night, like, Every time I go take a shit, mom. <laughs> he's got PTSD. Like he's All like, the other boys, they come, they bring, they have these wet paper towels, and they pelt me with them mercilessly. <laughs> Honestly, just it was considering... it was literally like three times we did it. it yeah, was, three it times. <laughs> no, it was every day. You have no, you have no idea how close he was to the gun. <laughs> you have no idea. He's Actually, his, we have a pretty good legs. idea now. Even yeah. one time he was probably pretty close. Dude, I told you, act, like, and right outside in actuality is where that the karate was the kid body. practiced. That mm. kid, that was the body that Blame Truth saw after, <laughs> yeah. after, after too much bullying <laughs> with the with the paper towels. Who were so... the weirdest people at your guys' high school that you remember? Just while Me. you think, I Me remember my friends. There yeah. was this kid that wore nothing but all blacked out like trench coats, like oh that kind uh, of weird. all that okay. shit, and he would like practice karate by himself with like poses in front of like the bathroom. And at one point, this like southern asshole who went to our school who was you know. Short guy, but jacked out of his mind. He's like, "Hey, Karate Kid, fuck are you doing over there?" And then he just like, kept like doing his shit, and we're, and I, I just want to be like, Josh, just don't like let him be. Like this kid's not hurting anyone. <laughs> He's just like, you want to sh show me how it works? Show me how it works. Like just antagonize. Josh was a bit of a fucking prick. Frankly. Sounds like, but no, he's yeah. he's the same guy. He almost fucking broke my arm in a in eighth grade wrestling because he was an advanced wrestler and I had seventh grade under my belt. <laughs> and he would he played for fucking keeps in practice. He would wrench my arm up behind my back to the point that I was like, Josh, Josh, stop! And he'd be like, Jesus, like like he'd be like mad at me for almost like making a scene, like. Yeah. yeah, that guy was a fucking prick. You know, <laughs> as I was the uh, like the the nucleus of my friend group in the sense that like I brought people together. Like I played football, so I had like and there's a, a strong Haitian population in, in Montreal. There's like a, a lot of Haitian friends. And then like I'd go to Jew camp. So I have all like my Jewish friends. And then, uh, you know, like I did. Uh, um uh, I played basketball. I had uh, friends from my elementary school. And uh, just from different groups, I'd bring people. I had 
like people would come to my house and I have some friends that like are really picky about who's around and they know my house is like, there's wild cards. Mm -hmm. So you'd come to my house and like, I would have karate kid at my house and I would also have (laughs) the other guy there that was like, show me how it works. (laughs) (laughs) like i i i i had oh lots of weird friends like that so i feel like it made me the weird one in the end in some ways but yeah yeah you know i can't think of the weird kid in my school but i was telling you about that weird kid last week taylor the one that's crying on the trip i felt a little bit bad i felt i was a a little bit harsh on him or something i was talking to those guys and they were like oh i don't feel bad i just remember he he talked about how he really liked torturing animals too and how he spends a lot of time thinking about how he could torture women and people and how it really intrigues him and it, and this, it like it, it, it intrudes on his thoughts a lot the ideas of like torturing and harming. now i'm willing to buy into <laughs> anything for content but Let me keep, that seems also, a little far-fetched <laughs> he also he told him that as a kid he would pull the the legs off of beetles like one by one and then watch them like wiggle as just a shell and he would do this and and also with salamanders he would like hold them down and slowly like pull all the limbs and the tails off of them so they could just Whoa. they had to wiggle then if that's true, that's fucking psychotic. Let's pull that's... him up on Facebook, see if he's murdered anyone since then. Yeah, that's profile pics is like oh, a I, wingless I, bird. <laughs> yeah, Harley, like just like fast forward you. This guy went on like a trip with a bunch of gaming buddies, and uh, he was crying like the whole time, um, like 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 weeping, like a grown twenty one year old man weeping. And he got a hand job from a stripper, and he paid five hundred dollars for it. And uh, he was having night terrors about it because it was so rough on him i guess it was his first sexual experience with a woman so then he hired a prostitute spent another six hundred dollars having sex with her um and then just the, lots of weird shit on this trip where they, these guys spent a week together and i felt a little bad that i talked about all that stuff and how, how weird he is but then i found out about the torturing animals and wanting to hurt people but stuff. he was and crying was, the whole time like they like he's, throughout the hand job like or weeping after? <laughs> after after in front of his friends like like the boys were riding home in the car and he's just like weeping openly yeah because she was still alive yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was so sad oh, wait that- wait wait why is he and like it's like no disrespect to anyone who's listening and it's cried from getting a hand job yeah why was he crying from getting a hand job do you he think? said it was traumatic and so much so that he had night terrors every night thereafter to get him up so but what's the a, night terror that he's he getting a the spike hand job again? glove yeah like I, <laughs> they, they i don't know i don't know he, he wore it was a condom on hand job from a from a stripper for 500. that just sounds overpriced maybe it's yeah like, i'm overpriced. thinking like I, I would be having night terrors i'd be like my money <laughs> <laughs> the night terrors is the, like 500 dollars just burning yeah <laughs> no, he was happy with the the financial part of it, um, but but I didn't like hearing it. I, they mentioned a cat too. I don't know if he actually tortured a cat or if he just wanted to get one. But no, that stuff kind of creeped me out about him. So I don't feel so bad about making fun of dude. Them. If they have evidence, he's an animal torturer. Get that guy is that a crime again? Is that a crime everywhere? Yes, it's a uh, crime. Well, it's a crime to cry after a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. pussy law. Yeah, one count of being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a little big. To He's... be served concurrently with being a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> You, so. uh, you should slow down. When he comes and gets me, he'll, I will be forced to give him your address. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to have a whole guard set up of innocent animals that he won't be able to resist. <laughs> mercilessly murdering as he walks into my home. You and just then have I'll a bunch of sheep of and like beetles in the front yard. Dude, he comes to my house. I'm, I'm going to turn the tables on him. I'm going to have reservoir dogs playing in the basement. Uh, okay. And I'm going to be like, I've been practicing my Michael Madsen. Will you help me? Mm-hmm. And, then, <laughs> and then i'll be like no don't worry we're gonna take like eight takes i got a bunch of needle and thread put that ear right back on buddy and like, <laughs> that's that's how you would do did you ever right? see the deleted scene there where they actually show the ear getting cut off no i mm-hmm. thought that was so, in the no see everybody does they think they saw the ear get cut off you don't see the ear get cut like they cut yeah. away yeah huh. he, he goes like this and then it like cuts but but oh, like, yeah, there's a the cut start where... of it but that's it yeah, there's a there is the footage there where he like saws it off there with a the straight razor. It's better That's when awesome. you don't see it because your mind fills in that gross ass all like mm-hmm. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. They don't they don't show like anything. Mm. I'm sure you you guys must still have some of the fattest listeners ever. Oh, big time <laughs> for yeah. sure. Um, I say like like what helped me was uh, like obviously like the threat that I was going to get punched in the head in front of people, of but. What I what I would say to like to any of those people is like I used uh, my fitness pal 
and you don't like it asks you to pay, but you don't need to pay. There's a free one and it tracks your calories. Once you start to get a grasp of like, and listen, I'm allowed to maintain at my weight. I could have 2,900 calories in a day and not put on weight. That's a lot of food. That's a if lot. You make the yeah. right choices. That's a fuck ton of food. So mm-hmm. to every like like fat so out there, like I know what it was like to be a big fat guy. You had two hamburgers. You can't have two hamburgers fat. Oh, meat. I don't even think it's that, man. Sometimes it's, you need to dessert it, after it also. You can't always the get vast dessert majority, fat so. The vast ma- dessert's a big one, but the vast majority of them, if you just stop alcohol and stop sugary mm. soda, like just that. You will drop you, like, fucking You'll weight. drop so like many nothing. pounds. Like, you can still yeah. have dessert and two hamburgers if you just stop drinking soda and beer all night. When I got as fat as I've ever fucking gotten, I was drinking, like, I'd say a six-pack at least a day of, like, yeah. IPAs. That's a... Extra. Oh, IPA? How many... That's, like, a big old sandwich each one. <laughs> it's like a yeah. burger in a bottle, yeah. <laughs> a um, loaf of bread. Yeah, you're adding, yeah. You're adding a pound and a half, two pounds of fat every week. I got that you so do that. fat. God, I like my... my do you, I, but, like, uh... Like late night salty snacking I, is I, definitely because like you can cheese. just pop goldfish cheese it's in your mouth for not cheese literally it, an like hour cheese. straight and you're yeah. no fuller but you consume twelve hundred calories. Dude, go go and it's with, mindless. Uh, go with string cheese. You know, like high protein, uh, forty five calories a pop. I'm about to grab one actually mid show. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you just, just act- make make smart Sorry. choices like that. Yeah. Just uh, go string cheese instead of cheeses. I love. I, I wanted to touch those actually those yeah. uh, those smarter decisions. Uh, um, you what was it that you'd said again? I wanted to give the. I wanted to you to repeat it for all the fat asses listening. You make me fucking sick. Now that I'm now that I'm medium fat, <laughs> and I'm not fat fat like you. I'm medium fat. You're disgusting. Um, what was what was the the thing you just said? It was actually uh, it was really concise, and I think it was a good. Oh yeah. You said no sugary soda, and you said something else. No alcohol. No, al- no alcohol. alcohol is so big. Because yeah. here's the thing about alcohol. Alcohol is more than it's uh, the sum of its calories, okay? Alcohol leads to poor decisions. Alcohol makes you hungrier than it you does. would have ever been. That's so true. You, yeah. you drink those six beers and get drunk, and you're like, oh, my God. Like, whatever your fucking shit to your snack Pizza. is. Pork yeah. rinds <laughs> or or fucking maybe it's just more beer and you keep going. Like, yeah. like you're gonna leave, you're gonna eat a whole goddamn pizza or do something awful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're and in a bad like like in your bed too. Oh, you're like <laughs> yeah. in your bed doing it. But like, yeah, Dude. no sugary drinks, alcohol. And mm-hmm. then if you also drink, how much water do you drink in a day, Kyle? Uh two gallons when I'm going hard, but a gallon every day. So if you do that and drink a gallon of water, water will fill up. You you actually will automatically do. And also because we're men, 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 all, right. yes, All the ladies listening, go ahead and turn the show off. Yeah. This is a show for the lads. Yeah. Go, uh, hey, go make us a sandwich, right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here, bitch! <laughs> 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 Woo! Because <laughs> we're mad. It's actually way easier for us, too, if you cut, if you did that, if you cut the soda and you drank all the water. It's actually like it's not even fair. It's not even fair. The women that are close to you in life uh, that look better, you will be very quickly catching up to their league. It'll bother them how fast you are accelerating <laughs> to be within their league. And you're going to be like, well, I like, was stop drinking 12 cans of Coke every day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I replaced diet. Doc- or I got started drinking diet Dr. Pepper instead of doctor. I, I literally have like I just drink diet soda. And so my biggest thing. I really overdo it with the late night snackery. But I have a friend who his habit, like his vice in college, was that he would go to Quick Trip twice a day, every day, and he would refill his 64 ounce oh. Dr. Pepper from the fountain because at Quick Trip, that's like four cents. Is and so he was drinking gold? 120. No, it was this guy was very, very heavy. And he drank what 120, 28 ounces Is of Dr. Gallon? Pepper. Is that a gallon? That's a gallon. gallon. So he was That's regularly insane. drinking gallons of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and he, and he, he was not a big alcohol drinker. When he would eat, he wasn't like, like he would go overboard at nights, of course, like when he was by himself binge eating. But he would have been mostly he, he yeah. would just drink soda in front of everyone all day. And he cut that out for one mm. month. And I bet he lost 40 pounds. Dude. Yeah. It's, just it's, that. It's crazy. Uh, 
what made me want to lose weight actually was like the fucking turning point was I was streaming on Twitch playing something. I don't remember what it was. And I look over and, you know, you have your, your streaming software up and you can see yourself kind of like how this is right now. I mm-hmm. look over and I, I'm, I'm sitting there on my third fucking IPA. I have an entire like family sized box of bottle caps the fucking candy oh. and i'm sitting there chomping on bottle <laughs> caps, candy. drinking an ipa and i look over and my face is just like you know that i got the big beard the long manson hair and i'm like i'm fucking disgusting what am I, doing? I look like fucking diabetic manson what am it's i not doing? even a good candy it's <laughs> terrible terrible candy. i just wanted to fill my stomach with something it's that was on race. sale that, i bet it wasn't even a good ipa it, yeah. it, <laughs> that's how you know, know you're in like overeating mode is i'll sit there my wife got me these cauliflower crackers what? and i was eating these two nights ago and i finished the whole box and i'm like this wasn't even good <laughs> I, was, I was just i was just eating it to eat to have something going when i'm watching movies late at night i like to munch i like to be yeah, snacking yeah. and i just forget what i'm Let doing me tell you that i when i go to buy snacks i buy in fuck up scenarios so someone will show me snacks and they'll be like, yeah, like, uh, like, let's get this. Like, you know, my girlfriend should be like, let's get this right here. This, this, this shirt, this box of whatever fucking rice thing. Mm-hmm. And I flip it around. I look at it and I'm like, no. And she's like, why? I'm like, because if I fuck up and eat the entire thing, it's still bad. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. if I eat this whole box, it'll equal out to like 2000 calories. Unacceptable. That's, that's the I'm going to go grab my I snack did. box real quick and you can see the hole that I keep putting myself. <laughs> yeah, I let, need let, to be able to eat the whole box and it's like maybe 800 max. All right, so so like this like like when I was cutting weight, it was so your body's eating itself when you're at mm-hmm. that deficit. And there's days I would do a 24-hour fast every week. So on that day I'd still have to do fasted cardio and I it it would be eat you alive. So when I would want carbs, some uh the, the, I would want volume. And I, I was on the volume eating subreddit, and uh, I think Woody and I both got on the popcorn grind. <laughs> huge! Oh my god, that's so They're, big. You, they, it's as big as your head. <laughs> do, do you know what's wild? Is they only sell them in two packs. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty wild. And yeah. so this is a this is a. I was going to say a long supply. It's a supply. and no one ever complains. No, no one ever complains. <laughs> and this is. Wait, how many? How many? Okay, one hundred and forty calories. 28 servings per container. God damn. That's like a two days worth of fucking food. Oh, no. In one box. Well, there's probably vitamins. To serve it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gold, I just love goldfish. Goldfish. No yeah, 4,000 very, 4, very calories. Comfort, very comfort snack for me. Man, my, my vice is fucking... Uh, you, do you guys have cookout where you're at? Yeah. The restaurant yeah, yeah. chain? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have the fried cheese bites or whatever. Yeah. Those things, or they have sheets too. Those things are the fucking shit. But they're actually not that bad. I'll go and get like an order of those, you know, and just an order of those. So I'm contained. Okay. Like one order. That's what, like a what cheat is thing. Those? It's calories in calories. It, it's fried cheese curds. Yeah, it's like mm. it's like 380 calories per like an order, like a little like a bag. They're like breaded. Know? They're they're fucking yeah. They're oh, fucking fried good. cheese curds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're fucking. Dude, I, so I, good. I ordered uh, cheese fries the other day, and without asking for my permission, they gave me poutine instead, and it was so fucking delicious. Oh yeah. I yeah. I, I, I didn't know that that was a, 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 a the idea of gravy on fries always sounded so mm. gross to me, but it was Sounds really fucking tasty. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like chili on the fries or something. No, it's like brown oh. gravy and, and yeah, cheese. Yeah, okay, brown oh. gravy is the real deal. Yeah. Chili the on the one. fucking fries, man. I went to a place called, uh, it's called Hillbilly Grocery, somewhere in the fucking boonies, you know, where I, around where mm-hmm. I live. They had these goddamn loaded crinkle cut fries. They put chili, cheese, bacon, fresh chopped onion on it. The best goddamn thing ever. So fucking good. Like the bacon was just killer. I like that we I like that we talked Every about healthy time we eating, talk about- <laughs> and then we transitioned into this into this right. Yeah. Well, I, if, if you I hate moderation, but, but that's what you do, right? Like, like yeah. when you're horny uh, and you can't have sex, you might watch porn. When I'm hungry and I can't eat food, I swear to God, like if you looked at my YouTube recommendations, nothing but cooking channels. I would go in there and watch people make and eat good food that I couldn't have. That makes it so yeah. much harder. It makes it better. I don't know how, but it made it better. It was like. That is really tough. talking about like it. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to do it right now. Like I'm yeah. talking about it, it's free. Like I yeah. have control. Gets it out of my system. Yeah, I'm a fucking man. I can control myself. I can do it. 
when you guys are right. cheating, when you're having a day where you're mm -hmm. going balls to the wall, just a nice reward for being so good. Yeah. What do you like? Like The Rock does, where he mm. has like eight pizzas. What do you guys I order? Doing? I order um, uh, a double flamethrower burger from uh, Dairy Queen. There's like this spicy double cheeseburger with pepper oh, jack cheese, and they put that hot sauce on it. And I get rid of the lettuce and the, all the vegetables, really, because I just want cheese and meat and the sauces. And I get a, um, uh, uh, what, do you, what do they call them? The fucking frozen desserts they have there. The a blizzard. blizzard I yeah. get the royal cherry, uh, no, the, the royal strawberry cheesecake blizzard, uh, the big one. It's like a thousand fucking calories, and it's full of cheesecake bites and like oh, God, so strawberry goo and ice cream. <laughs> and it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. Oh, and I Grand wish they would man pizza. up. I wish they would man up and you mm. could be like, Can I I've get never had one that looked like that. No, it's this. <laughs> it's always thing. sloppy. Yeah. It's this sloppy. is like the burgers Tinder pick. Those yeah, 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 yeah. That bacon no. looks like a like a dog treat bacon. Like kind of does. <laughs> yeah, like a bacon strip. Yeah. It has twice. Bacon, 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 bacon. It's tall and there's no vegetables on it when I eat it. It's oh. really good. I, I wish a Dairy Queen would man up and you'd be able to be like, Yeah, could I get a strawberry goo blizzard, please? <laughs> Instead of them trying to make it seem like it isn't, like, let's just embrace the fuck up future we live in you they know? have no yeah. chill there anyway like, like do you know they different places have di pretty much everyone almost exclusively has um not exclusively everyone almost always has the same dipping sauces for chicken fingers there's ranch or honey mustard ranch honey mustard they got bro. gravy at dairy queen they and do. that's like the oh, default my like, buddy's gravy my with buddy's this, like right? my buddy's like wings obese and his fuck it he calls it a shame meal is he goes and gets as many chicken tenders as they they will allow him to purchase. <laughs> <laughs> All the gravy they will allow him to purchase <laughs> and just dunks chicken tenders in gravy until he passes out. First Has of all, he I've ever been it? turned it's down? No, I, no. Like, hey, no. I would like 128 uh, tenders. I think he usually like gets like 20 and then like, you know, as much gravy oh, as they'll, okay. they'll give him. And then. So they're really fucking good. Not the chicken tenders, but the, the gravy. It's yeah, white. The it's good. white like uh, sawmill gravy or whatever. And... Uh, they also give you that Texas toast. I dip oh, everything in that gravy. It's really good. Yeah. yeah, it's really fucking good. I want some really bad right now. I want but, some. Uh, I want to <laughs> so I'm I'm in that white gravy. And eat it. Uh, back to like the, the shame meal, though. Uh, when I was, I, I tried to diet when I was fat before, and I'm like, all right, here, here we go. So I go and I hike a mountain, right? And um, I'm fucking exhausted after this. I hadn't eaten all day, and I'm like, I'm going to hike this mountain. I'm going to go and eat grilled chicken after. We're good. But, you know, I'm, I'm in fat mode, so I'm like, I can't have grilled chicken. It's just not gonna. It's not gonna yeah, work. You deserve so, a little reward. Yeah. So I go to KFC and I have my dog with me. He hiked with me, and he's you know he's pretty pretty big dog, at eighty pound dog. And I go to KFC and I get an entire bucket of chicken. And the cashier sees me. And he's like, "Oh, you you sharing the bucket of chicken with your dog, huh?" And I just go, "No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, no, oh, no, oh. <laughs> no." He gets his you know fucking. Uh, racial rays or whatever i'm getting this bucket of chicken i ate the entire bucket i i've never <laughs> liked the chicken from kfc but that but i like their um like yeah. like all of the gross stuff that they put in a bowl i like those biscuits <laughs> i like i like that mat those mashed potatoes and uh gravy bro i love their lime green little coleslaw also i mm. love it that little lime green their coleslaw is like <laughs> green in canada i don't know if it is there it's but green it's like, in america yeah it's, yeah it's fucked oh, up dude in america in the like south tough. in the south cal might have it in, or he might have had it in georgia but uh they have chicken livers at KFC. It's like a regional thing. Yeah. Like fried chicken livers. Oh, so fucking good. Those are great. I, I like fried chicken livers. I'm not, yeah. I've never done that. <laughs> You're like, it's like a hard drug. I've never touched that stuff. Not, it know. really is. Like, like, like for some, always as a kid, I, I sort of thought organ meats were gross. Mm -hmm. And nobody in my family really ate them. So mm -hmm. I didn't have anybody to expose me to it. Right. Did you guys have families who were like, no, we eat cauliflower in this house. God damn it. Eat it, boy. Eat no. it. Not we're not leaving the table until you've eaten your mother's cauliflower. No, my family's fat. My family's fat. My mom have was... that where like he had to eat stuff and there was a whole traumatic thing. <laughs> no, my well, my mom Woody though. She never cooked very well. So we ate out a lot. So I oh. usually ate out uh at, my like, mom cooked, but like I was allowed not to eat things. Like they're really yeah. Like, yeah. But it's oh, like when I was young, I was sitting at the table till my shit was done, like for a long time. Sometimes, like till it was like freezing, and I would just like play the waiting game. Like I, I'm not gonna eat this. Eventually, my my, my parents are like they didn't know shit about food. Like they didn't. They grew up in the time where like like all like when we grew like like when we 
when you go back in time, like my parents, when they were leaving the grocery store when they were kids, they didn't like leave a Walmart and pass like 50 million deliciously packaged treats and interesting stuff or mm -hmm. things that were like, you know, this is good for you. Like there was like five years where the entire world was like, what's the healthiest thing to eat? Subway sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> the whole fucking country was convinced that there was nothing healthier than a subway sandwich and yeah. that's how little we all knew and it was like the perfect storm for that so I, like i never blame my parents for it like they didn't know but like like my mom she's like she's like a bigger woman my sister's bigger like they've always had that battle with weight my dad's a bitch um my, <laughs> my brother and i we were just kind of like naturally skinny like i got made fun of for being skinny all through high school it was a problem it was only like when i turned like 25 that weight started to put on like mm -hmm. when my metabolism's like that's all i'm doing for you bro <laughs> that's it <laughs> i'm telling um, you now yeah exactly but You've this was like <laughs> literally um this was the uh just it was just that's why food was the way it was it was like a battle in my house yeah it was like a, a thing it was like I could eat whatever I want, but then like half the house couldn't eat whatever they wanted. Yeah. And it's not like we ever learned anything like valuable. My, my family never looked at what's being served and been like, you know, we could use some veggies here too. Yeah. You know? And now it's like, I will like, you know, there was nobody it. there to be disappointed in your poor eating habits. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But like that. And that's a problem. There's no accountability in so many people's lives anymore. I told and, my And I don't friends, mean that yeah. from a weird authoritarian, like <laughs> trying to, point of view i mean it i mean there's i bet there's a lot of people who are like who's gonna care if i cheat or not nobody's fucking looking dude anymore. i told like, my friends I when i got wish fat somebody was looking over their shoulder just i told my friends when i got fat i'm like why didn't you guys bully me like you should have said like dude you're getting fucking fat like your cheeks look like santa claus what are you doing goes a long way it, it does, does go a long way i'm like it doesn't fat. go a long way to getting you to move <laughs> but you'll definitely think and yeah. thinking starts to do it like i know like 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 from my experience like just being in a family like bullying someone being like you're like fucking fat won't make them go to the gym so you don't need to consistently bully mm -hmm. but you let that message out one time i was Come still on, kind of let fat. it out one time i was still kind of fat in the right picture i was about well on the left you look oh. like me and the goals <laughs> i'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> on the left i was about i'd say about 190 pounds there on the I right i like your shirt a lot i don't know i liked left <laughs> I look like shirt like, uh, on the left. Yeah, the shirt like on the left is definitely the winner. I look like a retired serial killer, but thank on you. On the left, um, it's like you're this <laughs> guy. You look like a guy who knows how to have fun. You don't look like a retired yeah, serial killer. You look like right, you're in your it prime. It looks like you became gay. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Became, you grew into a gay man. It kinda. is a compliment, though. Like, if it you is, look so you look, good that you someone look assumes much better, you're gay. 